Hi. Hi. I had a commercial photography job uh, to do in Dallas and I thought, seeing I'm driving all the way, I'll take Mel, Melanie, babes, <laughs> uh, with me and uh, we could stay the night. So we are at the Highland Dallas Hotel. Uh, it's a curio collection by Hilton. It's just off Marking Boat Lane and it's in a very nice area of town. Four star hotel, I believe. And tell them what's nice about the room. Well, he surprised me and he got a room with a jacuzzi bath because I want a jacuzzi bath. And she's been working very hard, uh, busy with tax season, which has now come to an end. Although we just heard today that the tax season has been extended by a month. Yeah, but, but we're not telling anybody we're that. We're not telling I'm yeah. done. <laughs> I'm finished. So um, we're just here to relax and enjoy ourselves and um, give you a walkthrough of the hotel, let you know what we think at the end. So stay tuned, watch the end, and we'll tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly don't, about this hotel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little like button so that you can get notifications of other just momentary getaways that we take and reviews that we do. We'll see you at the end of the video. As promised, we'll get onto the review. But before I get onto that, I like to ask you a question. And with a lot of our travels, we use Priceline uh, to get the best deals on hotel. And if you use Priceline, what you put in the comments, whether you feel you get the best room in the hotel, or do you get the Priceline hotel? Um, price not room. Eh? the price line room the price line room yeah um, not all hotels I just feel sometimes when we go to a hotel um, sort of treated as second class <laughs> citizens um, we're the red headed stepchild yeah we get put next to the elevator or next to the um, entrance or, or the room that hasn't been refurbished yet you know um, but I, I, I'd like to know uh, from your comments below whether anyone else is, feels the same. Anyway, let's get on with the review of the hotel. So, just some facts about the hotel. Um, we paid $252 per, for the room for the night. And that was because my sweetheart wanted to bless me and get me a uh, a room with a jet spa a, a room with a, a hot tub so we got a we got a king king room with spa okay so the room rate was 252 dollars parking and, and let me just interject here because <clears throat> again a learning for me i mean i've always assumed that the price line price is the cheapest um but in this particular instance it was the same price as the hotel hilton.com so maybe you wouldn't have um, got the price line room if i just put the same price through the hotel but anyway so we paid 252 for the room parking was 31 and hilton promotes this as a boutique hotel but the hotel does have 204 rooms so which is twice the size of what a typical boutique hotel is mm. typically a boutique hotel has between 10 and 100 rooms so whilst this might be a boutique hotel in the hilton chain of hotels uh, not technically a boutique hotel okay so what did you think was good what we're going to do the good the bad and the ugly right. so let's do the good the good i, th I think the location was great mm -hmm. um it's right off mockingbird lane yeah downtown uh, dallas or well, not downtown but yeah right off mockingbird lane which yeah. is a very nice area um you know lots of shops and restaurants around that area um and the, the state of the hotel it was, it was a it's a four-star hotel 
um, and when you arrive, you do feel like you're arriving at a four star hotel. So uh, that, that was good. Yeah, the valet was there. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, we have to add, it was the windiest day yes. in Dallas <laughs> that yeah. we have encountered in a long time. Uh, so, winds gusting up to 35 knots per hour. So it, it was windy. And we didn't even want to get out of the car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the fact that the, the valet was right there to help us was very helpful was was nice and the, the entrance is i mean it is um it is remarkable it's like wow let me just take all of this in when you arrive yeah the hotel falls under the curio collection of the hilton group um and sort of curio themed uh architecture or well, not architecture but um decorating, mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. It does have a 24 hour fitness center. It's got a heated. Yeah, as you can see from the video, that was pretty well equipped. Yes. Um, Nobody there. No, but <laughs> no. I needed to be there, but I just need to take videos. <laughs> The pool was really nice. I wish yeah. that it had been nicer weather for us so that we could actually have enjoyed the pool. But the pool is a heated room flow pool and there's a hot tub. So that that was kind of nice. Yeah. Nice area there as well. Overall, a very nice hotel. Yeah. Um, there's a restaurant. On yep. the side. A knife restaurant, um, upmarket steakhouse. Um, not too shy of their prices. Um, I don't remember the detail, but something like a 180 day aged steak was like $250 ballpark. Uh, don't hold me to that. But we didn't eat there. Um. Also, a nice thing is that there's a spa attached to the hotel. So you can either go outside the hotel into the parking lot, across the parking and to the spa, mm -hmm. or you can access it just beyond the gym. There's yeah. an access to the spa. Now, I did speak to the lady. She said that they could take walk-in massages since we didn't know what our plans were going to be. And <clears throat> if we'd have planned it a little bit better, we could have uh, walked in for a couple's yeah. massage <clears throat> very, nice. yeah very nice looking spa the downstairs area is devoted to exercise there's two different exercise rooms and then the the treatment rooms are all upstairs and they had a fair range of products for sale as well sweet lady and just something to consider the price list is included and current for 2021 March of 2021. Yeah. So what did you think of the room? The room was very nice. It is. It was a corner room, so we had a nice view and there's a little alcove that had that pretty blue velvet sofa, which was very comfortable. Um, it was influenced, the decorating was very Western in its influence. <laughs> The bed was comfortable, like the bed. I'm a fan of white sheets. If the place has got white sheets, I'm, I'm happy. The TV was, the TV was a nice big screen, 55 inch TV, I think. That was nice. We didn't watch much TV. The, the bathroom was quite adequate. Yeah. The hot tub was nice. I did thoroughly enjoy soaking. I really, really needed it. So thank you. The, you know, just the, the average amenities, towels, soaps, so yeah. on. So it was, it was, it was comfortable. There was absolutely nothing wrong with the roof. We will get to uh, one point that falls very much, very much affected the stay for us, yeah. but as far as the hotel, it probably won't affect anybody else's stay. I think that pretty much covers the room. Yep. Is there anything else on the room that you wanted to mention? No, um, there's a couple of things, but we'll mention in the next. 
in so, the bed or the, the bed, ugly. The bed. <laughs> so as far as the room goes, the room was good. I, yeah. I had no complaints with the room. Except. Except. <laughs> it was a noisy room. Um, it was right next to the elevator. And we had someone trying to get in, had an adjoining door. And we had someone trying to get into the room at like one o'clock in the morning. It was a bit of a, a fright, but that's not the hotel's doing. Um, and as we said, we had very high winds, 35, gusting 35 miles per hour. We had a window in the room that was an opening window, would allow one to open the window if you wanted to, which is unusual. We don't often yeah. see that in hotels that we've stayed in. We were on the fourth floor, so opening a window is not a common thing. We didn't open the window. The window didn't seal very well. And as we had mentioned earlier, there were winds gusting all night. So the wind whistled through the window all night. And to the point that the curtains were blowing. So, um, you know, the fact that it was very windy, but also the fact that it, it was leaking air in somehow, not sealed properly. And there was nothing we could do about no, it. You try to you try to jam something in there to try and stop the yeah. wind whistling, but there's just nothing we could do about it. So yeah. all night we heard this whistle. <laughs> and on a normal day, you wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. wouldn't it wouldn't, it wouldn't be an bother issue. you. But. but it was an issue for us. Yeah. Um, when we arrived at the room, there was a mini bar cabinet, which was locked. Yeah, and at no point was uh, a key offered to us to um, access the mini bar. Not quite sure if it's because we're price line people. <laughs> and I can't believe that it had anything to do with COVID because everything in a mini bar is individual little mini bottles. So oh. I cannot believe that COVID had any reason to cause the hotel to not open the mini bar. And normally when we check into a hotel, they would say, would you like the key to the mini bar? Well, we weren't asked that. So we never got the key. And this was one time I would have said yes, because <laughs> I just laying in the hot tub would have loved something to drink. Yeah. So we don't often pay the prices for mini bar drinks, but on this occasion we would have because the occasion was, was there for it. Yeah. Um, yeah also on the, um, the amenities description on the on their website said that there were robes available in the room while there were no robes and when i inquired the following morning they said oh you could have um oh those are on on by request only so if we had known that maybe we would have had you know requested the robes but you know, on the website it indicated that it was in the already in the room and again, it could be COVID related. Um, uh, not to get off track here, but a lot of businesses blame COVID when it's just lack of service. Anyway. And then the thing that neither of us can understand is there was no coffee in the room. Yeah. Now, we don't often drink the coffee in the room. And they never stipulated that there would be coffee in the room. But right. it's the first it's hotel that we've stayed at where there's no coffee in the room. Again, it's not necessary, not, not necessarily because we would have had coffee from the coffee bar. Uh, it depends what they offer, whether we use the coffee in the room. If we know that there's a coffee bar in the hotel, we may decide to not have coffee from the room and one of us will run down and go and get coffee and bring it up to the room. But in this case, there wasn't even the option. So, that was a little strange for us from a four-star hotel. And again, when we mentioned it at the reception, uh, they pointed out directly behind me, there was a temporary coffee station that was put up um, with coffee and pastries and um, fruit, etc. cetera. Um, and that was $4 for the coffee as well as $4 for any other item that you elected to take. So... I paid $4 for a banana. Yeah. Um, and in there, fact, there was a guy checking out uh, just in front of us 
who was questioning why he had a $100, $104 grab and go bill. And the lady said, well, that's for the breakfast items at the, break, at the grab and go bar. And he said, nobody ever mentioned to me that it is $4 per item. The gentleman was there with his wife and two children and no doubt they would have had a yogurt and a banana. Well, a yogurt, plus size yogurt and a banana was eight bucks, <laughs> eight dollars per child per morning. And uh, it just took him by surprise. It took, all, it took me by surprise too. Yeah. So. So that, that uh, something to be aware of, I guess. And then the only, okay, so that, those are the things that we feel were bad. Yeah. But the really ugly thing to me was that there were no blankets in the room. It was a cold and windy night and the duvet was very thin. Now, Tony doesn't mind a thin duvet, but I like a bit of weight on me. And I had been floating in the hot tub for a while. I came out of the bed, all uh, out of the bathtub, all nice and warm and got into the bed and immediately started cooling, getting cooler and cooler as progressed. And by midnight, I was pretty cold. Didn't have anything. There was no blankets, nowhere. And, you know, I was not going to call down at midnight to ask housekeeping to bring me a blanket. Even though it was listed as one of the amenities in the room. So, so it whistled all night. Uh, we were near the highway, okay, near the highway all night, and I had no blanket. So that, to me, that is not acceptable in a four-star hotel that there are no extra blankets. Um, and then you can talk about the, <laughs> the parking. Yeah. So at this hotel, there's no self-parking, so you have to valet, um, and that costs thirty-one dollars to valet which I think is a little high when you consider that there is no alternative. Um, and I had the opportunity to have to go and get something from my car once that had been valeted and the gentleman took me downstairs and there were literally, I wouldn't say hundreds, but there was a lot of underground parking. I don't know how many levels it was. Um, so I have no idea why they don't allow self-parking um yeah when we pulled up we thought it's in a built-up area in town but there's a strip mall right next door there's the spa on the other side so it didn't look like there was parking in the back of your mind you think i'm happy to pay a guy 30 bucks to go and find parking somewhere and then i don't have to walk and get my car when i'm dragging all my bags back but when you go down just one flight down and see a whole lot of parking, then I think that just left a bad taste in our mouths that we weren't even given the option to self park. Yeah. So I think that it's one thing wanting to enjoy the luxuries, but I don't enjoy being ripped off. So I don't think necessarily valet parking is a rip off. We have valet parked before when the occasion calls for it and that is our decision so and i think the average price we paid for valet parking at a hotel is about 20 dollars. yeah 20 at the most and then there's always been an option to self park right it just means you're going to walk a little ways right but um to not be given the option and then to be charged 30 dollars just it's 31 31 dollars we're not quite sure what the one was for and then you still took the guy too um but anyway that i you know it's not enough reason to not stay at the hotel again and if you know this ahead of time then just budget for it you're going to pay 250 dollars for the room plus 30 dollars for valet so that's you, for the spa room and i think if we were to stay there again we wouldn't upgrade we would just get a standard king king room so what star rating would you give this considering it is a four star hotel um, in terms of value for money and amenities yeah. what would you rate it well you can check on our website www.themeltonaffair.com for a more detailed um, 
review of the site of the hotel um, but I think overall I would probably give it a seven out of ten I know you you're leaning towards six I just feel that value for money it wasn't a seven mm. um, we have paid less and stayed in nicer so, yeah. hotels so on to, in terms of a four-star hotel the staff were great everybody was wonderful the first impression was great but the hotel was needing a little bit of attention it was a little bit dated there was some repairs that needed doing and i just think that for the price i don't think it warranted a yeah. seven for me yeah, you're um, probably right i mean i just thought about it now the shower handle came off of my hand um, yeah so just i mean they're just they're not, nothing none of them were deal breakers but yeah, um, when we you're have, paying that price yeah we have paid less and stayed in nicer places so i'm i lean towards a six i don't know that given the opportunity i would choose to go back there again for the same amount of money for a standard room for for any yeah. room i don't think so yeah well, there you have it. That is our review of our stay at the Dallas Highland, part of the Hilton Curio Collection. And uh, you know, stay tuned, like our um, video, comment on our, our price line question, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification button to be notified of when we post more videos, of which there are more coming. I do appreciate you taking me there. You're welcome. Thank you.